So today I'm going to show you how to root the HTC 10. Now if you have been following along with my HTC video so far, you will have already unlocked the bootloader and you will have installed twerp on the HTC 10. These will both be required in order to gain root access to it. If you haven't done that yet, check the video description below and there will be a link to the full tutorial on how to root and in that tutorial I link to all the required other previous guides as well as where to download the super SU binary. So whenever you click on the download link in the full tutorial it'll take you to this page and we're just going to download the latest version of SuperSU. Once that has been downloaded, we're going to need to power off the HTC 10. And then we're going to boot up into download mode. Now again, if you're not sure how to do this, just be sure to check the full description below as I will link to all of the required information there. Once we are in download mode, we're going to reboot over into bootloader mode, which is also known as fast boot mode. And then from fast boot mode, we're going to boot over into recovery mode. This will boot us into twerp as that is our stock recovery now. And again, this is required in order to gain root access to the HTC 10. So once we are at the twerp main menu, we're going to tap on install. Then we're going to browse to the download folder or wherever you have downloaded the SuperSU zip file. We're just going to tap it and then swipe to confirm the installation. It's going to give us a little progress on what it's doing, how it's mounting system and data, and now it's patching the boot image. Just be patient while this process completes. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. And then you get this notice here that says the first reboot may take a few minutes and it can also loop a few times. So if it looks like your HTC 10 has gone into a boot loop at first, just to be patient, let it continue with the boot process. So once that's done, we're just going to go ahead and tap on the reboot system button. And go through the typical boot sequence. And then as you can see right there, it just rebooted. Just like that notice says, it can seem like it's going to go into a boot loop, but again, just be patient wait for this second boot cycle to complete gonna enter the pattern again
and now we're back into Android. And you should be able to launch the app drawer. And then you'll see we have a new application called Super SU. We have the option to enter as a new user or an expert user. It's going to go ahead and tap on expert. And there we have Super SU. Now, anytime you install an application that requests root access, you will get a dialog box appear and then that dialog box will be from SuperSU and that will manage which applications can and cannot have root access so if you see that dialog box then you get to choose if you want that specific application to have root access or to not have root access and you'll always be able to come back in here to the apps tab and see all of the apps that have requested root access, which ones you've allowed and which ones you've denied.